All right, this mini lecture is just on how governments work together. Something very simple, but a little bit longer than the past two. So we should already have and understand these two key terms, grants and aid and block grants, but we'll go into them a little further in the slideshow. All right, so again, you have your two minutes to jot down what's on the screen and then be ready in two minutes to fill in any additional information. Okay, so the key thing to think about when we talk about how governments work together is one simple term, which is delegation. So the federal government has to, by what it says in the Constitution, has to do certain things. And so in order to get those elements done, whether it's providing for the nation's defense, uh, providing for the common welfare, uh, administering government from the federal level down to the local level, they have to have help with that. So these tasks are delegated and each round that they get sent to is delegated even further. So starting with the federal government, they need the states to do certain things or they allow states to do certain things. Then within a state, then they pass that along, they break it up amongst the state into the various counties or parishes. And then counties and parishes then break that up amongst cities, towns and villages to get those items done. And then the best example of that, the one that is the easiest to physically see and even sometimes feel, particularly down here in Louisiana, are roads. So, for example, starting at the bottom and working our way out. So, the city of New Orleans is responsible for all the roads within the city limits. So, you will have, if there is a highway, that stretches, that goes through New Orleans and stretches on into other parishes, to other cities, into other states. Once that road is beyond the city of New Orleans, then it is no longer the city of New Orleans' responsibility. Now, New Orleans is an exception in which New Orleans is also the parish of Orleans. So the city's borders are the parish borders. So once it's outside of the city, then it's outside of Orleans Parish. So, but for instance, if you're driving, say, on to Metairie and you leave New Orleans, once you are past the New Orleans border and into Metairie, once you cross one of the canals, then those roads are Metairie's responsibilities. Once you get outside of the city of Metairie, then it becomes the, eventually the responsibility of Jefferson Parish. And then if you continue on in various different directions, but if you cross the border from Louis, Louisiana into Mississippi, then those roads, whether it's a highway, interstate, or even just a regular two-lane road, those become the responsibility of Mississippi, their counties, and their cities.
So that's why if and when you've ever experienced it yourself or when you start driving a lot on your own, when you get across a state line, you will, depending on what state you're going into, you will see a difference once you hit the state border in how the roads are done. They might be newly paved and all of a sudden the roads get smoother once you get into another state or in some other cases, if they don't care about their roads, you go in there and it's like driving on New Orleans streets with a bunch of potholes. In two minutes, jot this down and then be ready to fill in any additional information. Okay, so outside of the basic everyday stuff, you have other elements of how different styles of government and different levels of government work together. So first is within cities. So cities that are nearby each other. So for example here, like New Orleans and Metairie. They have to work together for health services and law enforcement. So there might be people who live in Metairie that need to use a hospital within New Orleans. So New Orleans and Metairie have to work together in order to ensure that those facilities are open to anyone who lives in those areas. Same as with law enforcement. Now there are typically two different law enforcement um, organizations in different cities. So you have the New Orleans police, you might have Metairie police or Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, so on and so forth but they have to work together so that problems in New Orleans don't carry over into Metairie, or if there's problems in Metairie, they don't carry over into New Orleans. So that's how they work together. And then you have federal funding or federal government programs. So on the previous slide, there was a chart of how COVID relief funds got sent out. That would be an example of grants and aid for a very specific project. So during the pandemic, the government sent out money to states to help with vaccinations, with uh, handling any shortages of products, so on and so forth. And those were for, for very specific items, as well as uh, the more recent example would be uh, an infrastructure bill that was passed and th that money is given to states to fix bridges and roads and other things of transportation within states. They cannot be used for anything else. But then there are block grants in which the federal government uses national tax dollars to send, whether it's a specific state or all states, a set amount of money to use however they see fit. And within this, you have state and states and local governments competing 
for those funds. So for instance, if they are just general funds like block, block grants, states will be trying to convince Congress, who is writing the bill, of which state should get that money. So that could be for various different things, whether it's unemployment rates or um, you know, just needing, to, needing more money to help against natural disasters. But they want to make sure that their states get those funds. So states are always competing with each other for that. Um, as well as states also compete with each other to draw in business. So whether it's a big corporation setting up a headquarters or like an Amazon, uh, Amazon setting up a distribution center in which it'll create jobs. Also, um, theoretically, the, where those companies would have to pay taxes to the state, so it would mean income for the states. And states compete with each other in order to try and draw in those businesses. And then that's all set, of course, because states and whether it's counties or cities, they establish how businesses are run within their particular areas within their borders. So that can mean some states might have looser, um, uh, looser restrictions on how workers are treated. So that might draw in bigger businesses. Or other states might have um, lower health requirements for food production or food service in which that would draw in more businesses because there are less restrictions for them. Just a couple of examples of how states compete with each other.